Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm here this morning and I'm about to get ready for work. So I guess right now it is currently 5.51 a.m. So I guess I just wanted to get ready with you guys since I have not, I haven't worked these past few days so I haven't really been wearing any makeup. I was trying to find a picture to post last night on Instagram and I haven't been wearing makeup so I didn't have any and I didn't really have a next video to upload for you guys so since these days we've been getting things ready for the move I've been packing 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 throwing out so much throwing out so much so I guess I just wanted to sit down and film for you guys. Just getting ready for work and I guess trying out some products, some new products that I've had here for a while. Some products I've had here for a while that I still haven't tried out. I have some products here and two for Sully products. It'd be fun to try those out. So just sitting down, getting ready with me before work and I guess chatting a little bit. So if you guys are interested, then I go ahead and keep watching. Alright, so currently I am only using my vanity lights as my lights. I have my ring light. I had to tuck it away in the closet for now since we're in the moving phase. So I did go ahead and prime a little bit my skin. I like to triple prime, but then I remembered I had these guys to try out. So go ahead and try these one out. So I have here the Farsali Liquid Glass Radiance Serum with Hyaluronic Acid, which was the guy I just got in my BoxyCharm. I've been really, really curious about this one. So shake it up a little bit. Been really really curious about this one. It does have a fragrance to it see that much of a difference right now, but we'll see. And I also wanted to try this guy out also from Farsali, the Rose Gold Skin Mist 24K Gold Infused Hydrate Prime and Sets. So I guess for this one I can prime. Has a little Gold flex, very pretty. I think I tried this once, just sprayed a little bit. Still don't know what I think about it. Don't want to spray too much, don't want to get very oily. I do have to work today. So lately I've been doing a lot of powder foundation, this guy, which as you can see I am almost out of, almost out of. So I have this guy which is from Pons, very very old packaging which I told my mother about this one because apparently they don't sell this one here, so she did. She did end up restocking me. Since they changed packaging, we really didn't know which one to get, so she pretty much got me these two. Though I think it's this one actually, the angel face. But I can go ahead and try this one out. 
And of course that one doesn't have a shade name, so just have to pick one. So because I've been doing a powder foundation, I like to go in with some cream products beforehand. So I like to do these guys before. I like to do my cream contour stick from Ulta and then a little bit of cream blush. So let me dive on in with this one. Which that's pretty much all I have left. If you guys remember this one, this is the one that I got. I think this is during one of my last hauls in North Carolina. And then I found out I actually paid about two dollars and something for this. But realized it after and realized I should have gotten more. still like to use these boxy charm brushes for that so I'll blend it out this one is a little bit more subtle so maybe a darker shade would have been better handed since I will be doing the powder foundation on top so I'll be looking really really rosy right now so now moving on to what's left I like to take this guy with it which is my Luxie 532 brown top blender again another one from BoxyCharm one I do have to add a little bit more here where I added some of the cream products so you can still feel a little bit of the stickiness so I really 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 like using this powder instead of instead of using liquid foundation and then concealer and then powder this gives me more of a natural look to the skin still looks like skin which I really 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 like I really really like this one so you can tell that I really really love it you can definitely tell so for this one I think go ahead and do my brows off camera and I will be right back. All right, so I just finished my brows. I always feel more complete when I have them done. And I was actually here on my phone and actually my Jeffree Star Lucky Bag from Beautylish is already on its way. So it should be arriving tomorrow. It'll be arriving tomorrow, which is awesome. That's the first time ordering the Beautylish Lucky Bags. So we'll see how that goes. Really, really excited for those. So I guess now moving on to I'm gonna try this scout, this guy out, which is from GG Gorgeous, the Sick Sculpt Bronzer Duo in Turnt and Extra. So I had these. That all I had done was swatched it. Still haven't tried it out. If I grab just one shade or both. And it looks brand new again. So. Hmm. Yeah, it's 
еще завтра. Actually, the first time doing the lucky bags and I saw on there you can only do it's one per person but I saw they had the regular lucky bags and the Jeffree Star lucky bags I was actually working that day I think I just started my shift and I saw them come out so I went ahead and quickly ordered mine did the Jeffree Star one and then I read that you can only do one. So I got another one in my husband's name. <laughs> so I did the regular lucky bag because the XL had already sold out. It already sold out. But again, like I said, this is my first time ordering those. I did order the one that said fair to medium and I forgot my nose. So I did the fair to medium. Hopefully it doesn't come out too light. It's not bad. It's not a bad bronzer. Kind of like it. I like it. I actually did just try the Hula bronzer from Benefit finally the other day and I really like that one. I really, really did like that one. I got a little bit of blush. I'm gonna try this one. I think I did already try it out. Matchmaker. Had done the Ciate London little blushes. I just got in my Ipsies. I did do the shade. I did do Matchmaker already. So this time I can try Date Night. Yeah. I can do this one. I think it was kind of more of a kind of neutral peachy. But leaning more neutral. Though I still don't understand the illuminating part. Okay. I think maybe I kind of see it. I guess maybe building it up is when I see the illuminating part. I like to add a little bit here, the remnants. She's cute. Yeah, she's cute. So then I can go ahead and move on to the eyes. I like to do the eyes first before I can move on to highlight. So I'll be doing this guy. The Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder. Another one I had gotten from BoxyCharm which this guy arrived broken and I repressed it. I still hadn't tried this guy out so I wanted to go ahead and try him out. So this one is a little bit more colorful so and I am going to work so let's see what I end up doing. So I've zoomed you guys in a little bit more and I'm still here thinking what I'm gonna do thinking what I'm gonna do so we'll see I think I'll start with I guess transitioning with hopefully this one's not too dark zero gravity it's like a grayish color Ooh. we'll see hopefully that's not too dark This will be the first time using Domini Cosmetic Shadows. Which I saw she just released the Latte 2. And that was actually going to be in the Trendwood box, the second one. Which I did get the email for the early access. thought about getting it but again with the current situation there's a lot a lot that I'm missing out on and I can't I can't buy see the new ColourPop launches as well I really like that nude mood 
Nine Pan palette. I really, really like that one. I thought about it again, but of course I can't. I'm also really thinking about the Bare Necessities palette. I think that one I saw with coupon codes, it would come out to about $30. But again, $30 is $30. So right now I'm slowly getting a little bit better financially, but again, like I've said, with only working two days a week, there's only so much I can do. There's only so much I can do, I can afford. Yeah. So I guess I'll dive into a little bit of Lunar Eclipse. So I guess it's time to warm it up. I think I can't really avoid not warming it up. these two zero gravity and storm dust do a little bit of these two do a little bit that on the outer edge so I want to mix both of them because I don't want to make it too warm a map but I added this guy on top see how that would work I think that could work for a future one but I think I'm gonna go in with this one on the lid which I did think that was the one I was gonna get just the one that broke eternal light which from these swatches that's the one I really like the best so I'm gonna go in with that one and right now I was adding a little bit more to the brows and Another one. Another one. Done. So my empties keep adding up. They keep adding up. Then also I was checking on my email and I saw that the other lucky bag, well the shipping label was created just a few hours ago and apparently the estimated delivery date would be Wednesday. Wednesday, so we'll see with those guys. I thought I don't know if maybe I do one one of the boxes, one of the lucky bags as one video and then the other one as another video. We're doing both of them together because one comes tomorrow and then the other one doesn't come until Wednesday. So I don't know if I can wait until Wednesday to open up both. I really want to see the Jeffrey one since this is the first time I did see another YouTube Leora, another one that I follow. She just got her Jeffree Star lucky bag. I have not watched it, but of course since YouTube on the TV plays little clips when you mouse over it, I saw one of the items and it looks really really exciting. One of the holiday items. I figured I would like this one. is a dry brush oh yeah that's really 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 pretty so I'm here wondering I think the camera will pick it up if you can hear the tick tick there's two wall clocks here there's one here on the wall and then one right behind the camera shimmer all 
over. <laughs> That's really pretty. I really, really like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. So I just spent like the last 10 minutes trying to solve the fallouts. So for this guy, it's really, really beautiful, but there is so much fallout, so much fallout on the face. I tried to remove as much as I could. I had to redo some powder foundation underneath. There's still a lot everywhere, everywhere. It's just a lot, a lot, a lot of fallout. It's just everywhere. So I think maybe for next time, if I want to use that one, it would have to be before doing my foundation. Because the, fa the fallout is unbelievable. Just spent so much time trying to get rid of that. So I think I'm going to do for the, see, since I'm wearing blue, let's go for the under eyes. Let's go with the Mystic Ice. Trying to dip into as many colors as I can. I just keep seeing all of these sparkles everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. I tried so much to get that off. So it's really, really, really pretty, but the fallout, can't get over it. So I'm here curling my lashes to add some mascara. Don't want to add the dark liner on top because I do want to showcase the eyeshadow. <laughs> I laugh every time. There's a rooster around here. He likes to start singing at around I think around 4 a.m. likes to start singing or 3.30 actually. So I added this guy on my lower lash line. So then I'm gonna go ahead and start with the top lashes. I think I've been really liking this combo. I like the Rimmel One Dirt Lux volume. I have to go in with this one first. And actually noticed because we already started taking boxes to the new place. Started taking boxes to the new place and actually heard a rooster around there. <laughs> so I guess I'll still be hearing that. I don't know when that started becoming the norm around here in Miami. Everywhere you go you see chickens and roosters. Why? I don't know. But it's funny, I would have thought I would have seen a lot of that in North Carolina. Since it's more, there's more land there, more farmlands. But the whole time we were there, we didn't see any. None. At all. No chickens, no roosters, anywhere. Not even inside people's land. And yeah. I'm only gonna do the top lashes since I am wearing blue underneath. I'm gonna go ahead and do the blue mascara from ColourPop. This one's I think it's in Booyah Mind on the bottom lashes. Yeah, in Booyah Mind. And then, so this is the combination I like to do. I do that one on top and then I do the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes mascara. I don't know why, I've been really liking that combo. So I'm letting that dry so I can take it off. And there you go. I've been really, really liking that. Excuse the mark. So I've been really, really liking that combo. And there we go. So now I like this one for the 
और so it's a little bit of a different blue but it still works so then I guess trying another new product this would be the highlights from the brand Believe Beauty first time trying their brand this one is Radiant Finish Highlighter in Champagne Kiss. So then since I didn't have an inner corner and brow bone highlight, I can also use this for that as well. Ooh. Let's see this guy. Oh. Yeah. Alright. will be a golden one, a little bit golden. So let's see. First do that for the inner corner, the brow bone first, then do the face. It's very golden. Very golden. Usually I like my inner corner a little bit more icy, especially since it's a little bit similar to the lid color. So now I can do the face. So let's see on the face. Not bad. It's just very, I didn't think it would be that golden. It will come out that golden. Since it is called Champagne Kiss, I think it will be a little bit more champagne. So then yesterday I did do the, I did a lot of purging, a lot of decluttering here with my Ikea drawers. I was looking through both of them and I threw a lot, a lot of stuff out, a lot, so much. A lot of clothes I just did not wear anymore. My style has changed. And also I had a lot of movies. I threw a lot of them out, but then also a lot of them I just condensed them, threw the boxes out, and just kept the discs. So again, that's another space saver. So now I have empty drawers. I now actually have empty drawers and I love it. So with every single move, I've been throwing out and purging a lot. Every single time. It's crazy. It's crazy how much we actually hold on to. Just feels a lot better to have a lot of stuff just gone out of my life. It's like a weight lifted off your shoulders. So let's see if I try this guy to set a little bit. Try this guy again and put it back in the box. And I think I've heard not to add too much because it could make you look oily. So just a little bit. So the highlight's not that bad actually. Not that bad. It's kind of similar to my skin tone, so it's kind of like that glow from within in a little more in your face kind of way. So, then the last item to try out would be this guy, which is another one from BoxyCharm. They have Dose of Colors, one of the exclusive shades from the box. I have it in Nude Mood, which is the one that came in my puppy's box. We have nude mood. I am wearing a lip balm first. I did put on one first, which is of course my favorite at the moment. I had this one from Ipsy Ola Neon. This one's in the shade Call Me. I've been using it a lot. 
a lot. Just really, really love how it actually moisturizes your lips, but then also gives some color. I like it for those no makeup days, which I have been doing all of these past days. Since all of the packing, all of the decluttering, a lot of those kind of days. Very nude. So maybe this one I could have outlined. Though she is pretty. Let's see if I let that dry, maybe do a little bit of a lip line, but it's pretty. Very, very pretty. Let's see if I can do the Lippy Pencil Color Pop in BFF2. Still a newer purchase. Let's see if I can do a little bit of this one. much right there so I have this one I haven't tried it out yet this is the ColourPop ultra glossy lip in paper moon a little bit of gloss this one I can go ahead and leave it like that it looks really pretty but I want to try this one out so let's see so it makes the lips a little bit more peachy Just a little bit more peachy. I really, really do love these glosses. Just make your lips look so juicy and big. Even though mine already are big, but just makes them look really, really nice. I like that. So here we have pretty much all done. All done. So I guess I want to see how this guy holds up since I'm going to work. Let's see what time is it now? 7.34. 7.34, so hopefully it will hold up right. Since I think today I will be baking, so I will be getting a little hot. So hopefully I don't get oily. I hope, hopefully I don't get oily. So I will say I do really like the look I came up with. I really did like this guy a lot, except for that, all that fallout from that one. I don't know if maybe it's because it did break and I had to repress it, but I guess I will be doing that one before I do my foundation, but I did really, really enjoy that. I did enjoy this guy, the bronzer from Gigi Gorgeous. Did really like it. I did like it. And then I did like the Believe Beauty highlight. It's a little bit more golden than I would have expected, but it works out. It really does work out, so I like that. I really liked this color. It was really, really pretty on its own. And then topped with the gloss. I think it's still really pretty. I really, really love those ColourPop glosses. But then again, I have to see with this guy, and then for the liquid glass I guess I have to see because when I put it on I didn't really see much of a difference but we'll see I mean my face does look looks pretty nice looks nice minus all the little specks of glitter from that shadow even up here yeah I did not like that follow at all so I guess for now since today I'm filming this now it is the 18 January 18 supposedly we're moving in the 31st but 
the person that is at the place right now moving out actually lives in Fort Lauderdale now moved to Fort Lauderdale and her bed is gone already so we're just waiting on her to take the rest of her stuff out so that pretty much could be any day now any day now so it's gonna be another one of moving a lot of heavy stuff the TV moving out the TV oh my god that one was a pain in North Carolina that was a pain and then bringing it here because we're on the second floor it's gonna be a pain it's really really heavy really heavy it's I think what was it a 70 inch 70 inch so it's a heavy one it's a heavy one and then the sofa bed yeah so it's a good thing I did a lot of purging a lot of throwing things out because now I think maybe they're a little bit less heavy the dressers so I can go ahead and carry them yeah so it's moving again <laughs> So a little bit of an update, I did try a lot of these guys again, a lot of these items on my face again, and I did try this guy out, I did do the eyeshadow first and then the base, and I think, I think that technique works out better. I did do the matte blue on the lid, and then I did the shimmery as a topper which was the one that had a lot of fallout which was that guy I think that works out better doing the eyeshadow first so yeah I think I am really enjoying these products I really am enjoying them I really really like this one a lot so yay That would be it for today's video getting ready with me chatting a little bit getting a little bit of life updates so that would be pretty much it i hope you guys enjoy this creating this look with me so later on hopefully we'll see with the move I haven't been able to vlog that too much because it's really been hands-on so i haven't been able to do much of that but hopefully hopefully it's a smooth transition <laughs> But if you guys enjoyed this video, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. We're good. <laughs>